Hello everyone. So today what I would like to talk about is the importance of self-care for your skin and some multi-masking options that are available. So with that said, I'm going to show you one of my ultimate favorite things that we have, if I can get it out of the little tube here, the tub. These are our hydrating eye gel patches. They are my favorite of all time. They are going to reduce puffiness and bags. They are, I have two of them on my face right now. That is awesome. Um, they are going to help with discoloration around your eyes. They are going to soothe your eyes. They're doing all of the really nice fun. Things. All right. There, got one on. They are slippery little buggers too, because they are very, very thin. So you're just putting them right underneath your eyes. Now the awesome thing about these is because they are dealing with helping you with the fine lines and wrinkles and all that stuff, you can actually put them in other places on your face as well. So you could use them around your lips. You can use them um, above your eyes. Anywhere that you have that discoloration and those fine lines that you are trying to improve. And oh my gosh, these things are so slippery tonight. I cannot even get, there we go. All right, so that is number one of my favorite item. Now these, you can actually use a couple days a week. Um, when I started using them, see I told you guys, I still can't even get it back in. I'm so out of practice, I guess. All right, there we go. Now we got it. All right, as I was saying, so these you can use two to three times a week. You're just going to set them on your face. Now, like I said, they're kind of slippery. I put mine on a little bit hastily here but you can actually leave them on and you can move around to an extent with them. Now, my other favorite, this is our charcoal mask. Now, this isn't like those masks that we were seeing online a while back where you peel them off. You don't wanna actually peel stuff off your face because that is going to cause more ir irritation. So this is a gentle charcoal mask that you're going to actually wash off when you're done. It is going to remove all of the stuff out of your pores all the way down to your bottom layer. All four layers are getting sucked dry tonight. This is going to get the dirt. This is going to get the bacteria. This is going to get your excess oil. All the things are going to be coming out. Now, one thing that I really like with this mask is you can actually see it working. So I will do a close up here after a few minutes, but you will see your oily spots. You will see the bacteria coming out. You will see where your skin needs some extra TLC. This is another one you wanna do two days a week, maybe three. You can do spot treatments in between. If you're feeling really oily across your face, um, you know, I'm in California and we're still masking up a lot. So you can still add this for your mask knee. If you're, um, you've been in sunscreen all day and you've added that extra sunscreen because you've been in the water and you're feeling that greasiness, you can put it on them too. So those are two masks that I often do at the same time. Now, some other mask options here. This is your Revitalizing Radiance Facial Peel. Now, it says peel in the name. Again, you're not peeling this off. This is a super hydrating mask that you are going to use 20 minutes once a week. You're going to put it on your face, leave it on, and then you go in and you wash it off. It's going to remove your wrinkles. It's going to help your skin tone. It's going to help remove dark spots. It's going to make your face look brighter and tighter and more healthy and alive. Final one here that I want to show you tonight is our satin lips. Now this isn't tr a true mask, but 
your lips need some extra TLC as well. So we're going to start off here. This is a Shea Sugar Scrub. And I'm just going to get some on my finger. Pat it on. It smells like old school Fruit Loops, I promise you. But this is just going to be an exfoliant for your lips so that your dead skin off of your lips is going to go away and be able to hold the moisture in your lips. If you're having problems with keeping your lipstick on, it's kind of sucking it in. Your lips need more moisture. And one of the ways we start doing that is we get rid of all the dead skin so that your youngest layer of skin is on top. Once you wash this off, you're going to add the Shea Butter Balm. This is going to be the best chapstick you've ever used on the market. Rub it on, you leave it on, it's going to rehydrate your lips. It's actually going to even replace the natural color into your lips. This, you guys can use however you want. I keep one of these in my purse all the time. So instead of buying um, Burt's Bees or chapstick or whatever, Blistex, I actually use this when my lips are feeling drier. Use these when you've been out in the sun too often or it's winter and you're getting that wind. These will keep your lips from checking as well. So with the charcoal mask, this would actually be on for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's been six and a half so far, but I'm gonna let you guys start seeing how some of it is drying up. So if you can see through here, these white spots, these are all gonna be pimples. Didn't really do a great job adding it on my chin tonight. Because I know I have a few things on my chin that need to go away. I can feel them coming in. So many people don't realize that the blemishes that you get, that's three to four weeks in the making before they pop up. So what this is doing is this is speeding up that process for you by cleaning four layers deep. Anything that was down into your pores, four layers, is going to come up to the surface so you can deal with it. There is, <clears throat> excuse me, Occuberry. For your antioxidants, there's navy bean extract. It smells super good. Um, rosemary, peppermint. Those are going to help be a natural toner for your skin. It's going to help with any of the bacteria coming out so you don't get infections. Um, just an overall really simple thing. This is suitable for people with any type of skin, even if you have super... Um, sensitive skin, you just won't want to leave it on as much. Anytime it starts to tingle or burn, that's when you want to take the mask off. So if it's at the seven minute mark, that is okay. You can take it off when you, you need to, and you will still get results. Um, it will help improve rosacea. It will help improve acne. It will help, um, just renew, rejuvenate your skin. Your skin will feel softer and have a, a more even complexion to it when you use this. It's not actually changing the complexion of your skin, but instead of having those oily spots and those spots that are going to be breaking out, it's going to even those out for you. So that is our multi-masking. It is about eight and a half minutes. I'm going to turn off the video, but I will take a picture of this before I wash it off and I will add it into the comments tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have a great night.